Hey everybody, this is Tall Gamer Junkie. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about how I think the romances will play out in Life is Strange True Colors. And I want to give a list of examples as how I would like them to play out from various games and what I don't want from these romances. Like, how I don't want them to play out is what I mean. Now the first thing I don't want is some love at first sight type of crap, you know, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not against that, like, that, that can happen, but for this game, what we know about Alex is that she's a socially awkward character, like, you can just tell by the way she interacts in the trailers, the way she talks, she's not a very social per person, and as I said, socially awkward, and people who are socially awkward are not good with relationships, like, I'm not saying that they can't have relationships, but um, if you've taken a look at um, people, like, there's many documentaries you can see or TV shows about people who have certain things like Asperger's or, or Asperger's, I mean, sorry, and, like, other forms of um, disorders or conditions, and they can't properly have um, a relationship, so... The thing here is, um, what I want for this game is, um, the more you get to know Stephen Ryan, uh, depending on who you want to romance, the more, like, in getting to know them will help Alex get out of her shell in a sense, you know, it will help her become less socially awkward and she'll be able to open up and become more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, more invested, like, with other people, because the game shows that Alex can go around, she can talk to other people, she, like, not just the main cast, there's also a bunch of side characters, like, in Life is Strange 1, um, where, as Max, you can go around and talk to a bunch of side characters, and I felt like that was disappointing what Life is Strange 2 didn't have. Um, you couldn't just go around and talk with random people, it's like, okay, you could, but they didn't really have an impact, uh, I'm glad that was brought back in Before the Storm, I, so I'm hoping that that happens, like, so the, more ma so the more Alex talks to people, the more she can get out of her shell and just develop more as a person, like, because that's what I want, I just, as I said at the beginning, I don't want so love at first sight stuff, I want to actually, I want the relationship to actually develop and hopefully, like, it's not phonied in, if that makes any sense. So the next thing I want is to not have the romances be the same, like, be in the same place at the same time. And what I mean by this is, um, let's just say, um, you, you play a walkthrough and you romance Steph, and then you do this, a different playthrough and you, um, romance Ryan, um, I don't want that to be okay and you get to the point where the romance like kicks off and it's basically the same um, place where where you had a previous romance like what I want to, what I want is uh, for that for in order to um, have a romance with Ryan and Steph you're doing two different things like like Steph is into music she's into board games as well, just tabletops, like I'm not the biggest tabletop guy, I've rarely, like I'd say maybe two or, or one, like I don't know, it was so long ago, but I rarely play tabletop games, but make that for Steph's romance, make that a part of it, okay, you want to advance the romance, get to know her, like, like play some D&D &D or help write some music or draw, you know, just keep things separate because Ryan uh, likes the wildlife, so maybe Ryan will show Alex about the wildlife and sh show her nature, and he can take her to all these places and just show all the animals and stuff like that, you know? So just don't have the romances just, like, the only thing different about them is just the gender, you know? No, I, I just want, I want them to be unique and, like, relatable to that character, like, the individual, I don't want to copy and paste type thing, you know? Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is, about the romance, is don't make it, like, don't be able to achieve that romance, like, that, you know, like, a flick of your fingers, because, 
Um, great games, for example, like Mass Effect. Um, you couldn't just romance people at a whim. You'd have to, um, if you wanted to get your character to be in a relationship with them, you'd have to talk with them. You'd have to get to know of them. Um, one example I can do is Dragon Age. Dragon Age Origins, great game. Love that. Best out of the three. Um, um, as a Grey Warden, you are exp you um you gotta defeat the Darkspawn. And you meet a bunch of characters um, who become your companions. Like, not all of them, but I think you get. Is it 12? No, 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 it's like 10 in total, I think. And um, what happens with that is, like, when you talk to characters like Alistair Morg uh, uh, Morgan, Zevran, and, uh, and Liliana, you don't just. Like, you can't just romance them. Like, you can. There is a thing, like, you can do if you just give them gifts, and then that... And then that just increases their likeness of you. But, yeah, but that... I, I don't really do that whenever I played the game. I wanted to do it naturally, because I really did like the writing for each of the characters. And it really just made, like, okay, I get to this romance. It, it made it a lot better than just uh, using gifts as a cheat, as a hack. It's like, it, it, it didn't feel right to me. So, that's what I want, so, as Alex, get to know Stefan Ryan, don't like force this, okay, here's the kiss option, and no, I'm not trying to put shit on um, Life is Strange 1, where Chloe dares Max to kiss her, in case any of you are wondering, I'm just saying, make it natural, like, I'm, I want it to be natural, I want it to flow, you know, just, just go with a nice pace, don't rush it, don't don't like drag it out but don't rush it just let it progress naturally and speaking of Dragon Age uh, when you talk to your companions uh, you get a bunch of dialogues and depending on what you chose determined um, like whether or not the likeness or hateness would go up or down depending on like how you treated them and I, I think that's what they should do with uh, I, I hope it's what they do with uh, Life is Strange True Colors so you're talking to Ryan or Steph and you say something or mention something that they don't like, just don't don't make them agreeable with Alex. I want Steph and Ryan to have their own reasonings and let's just say um, you disagree with something that they, they strongly agree with or you agree with something they strongly disagree with. You know, I, I'd actually like to see, okay, um, see like maybe a fight or a conflict happen, you know, just don't, like, because all relationships, there's no such thing as the perfect relationship, all relationships, you're gonna end up fighting, and then you're gonna, like, like, good relationships can get through the bad, because, you know, that's what good relationships do, they can, like, you know what they say, true love conquers all and all that, but I'm just saying, like, don't just make Ryan and Steph a bunch of yes, yes, yapping people, you know, yeah, I, I agree with you, Alex, no, or it's like, yeah, I totally disagree with you, no, I want them to be individual characters with their own opinions and their own views who will disagree with Alex, you know, just, I just don't want something bland. Now this last part is just really something I'd like to see, because um, I, I think it would be intriguing. Um, I'd like to see what happens if, let's just say, you're um, go going to romance Steph and you're on this path, then you're like, nah, I'll, I'll totally go for Ryan instead, and then just start hanging out with Ryan. I'd like to see if Steph gets jealous of Ryan, or Ryan gets jealous of Steph, you know? just be an interesting thing to see, because, you know, jealousy is, uh, jealousy is not a good thing, an instant turn off, but, yeah, but, you know, like, jealousy's a part of life, there was actually, um, this funny thing in Mass Effect, uh, I remember when I was playing it, because I was, uh, I got the Legendary Edition, I was playing it, and, like, Ashley and Leo were like, who, who are you gonna choose, and I was like, no, I don't like either of you, but apparently talking to Ashley means you like her. It's like I didn't even say the option I was interested in her. And then I told Leah I wasn't interested in her because I chose the bottom dialogue. It like there's a mistake on it, I don't know. So I did the only thing I could. Chose Ashley, then let her die on Vermeer so I could remain single. 
Yeah, but uh, jo jokes aside, jokes aside, um, I, I do think it'd be interesting to see, like, oh, uh, let's just say, um, in, in the beginning of the game, like, Steph and Ryan offer to show you around, and you can be, okay, I'll go with Steph, or okay, I'll go with Ryan, and then just see how that happens, like, if you're friendly with Ryan, then you'd be like, no, nah, I'm gonna go hang out with Steph, or something like that. Like, obviously, I want something more that makes more sense than how I'm saying it, because how I'm saying it sounds completely stupid, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Uh, so anyways, that's really all I wanted to talk talk about. Uh, let me know what you all think in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Togamer Junkie, signing off.